to the next video in today's video i will show you how to perform background operations in native ios firstly uh, to once you are done with this project you will have to run it on a real device it won't work on an ios simulator unfortunately given that i don't have a real ios device i won't be able to show you the output but i'm pretty confident it will work so yeah let's get started so there are two ways to perform background operations in uh, ios one is using bg processing task request and another is using bg app request task request so first i will show you bg processing task request uh, so i have written all the steps so firstly you will have to go to your project so native as project go to sign in and capabilities here you will have to click on plus and clear add background modes i have already added it then here you will have to select background fetch as well as background processing once that is done uh you will have to go to your info.plist file so here you will have to add require background modes oh sorry not this one uh we because that is added automatically you will have to add this permitted uh, background uh, task scheduler identifiers and here you will have to give some string so i have given it my bundle identifier dot background task but you can give it whatever makes sense to you but do take a note of this because we will be making use of this in our project next you will have to go to app delegate and basically in what i am doing is that uh, in my background task is okay i think i made some mistake okay so um, basically what i have done is that uh, <coughs> in my background processing is uh, <coughs> i am uh, storing some data in user defaults but uh, this can be anything like doing a network operation then saving data in swift data or core data uploading file to a server uh, this can be anything and this background operation is triggered by your os which is ios we can't really control it uh so it can be triggered at any point of time whenever the os feels like it so here you can see i'm using the same task id which i have defined it on the uh, uh inside our identifier next i have taken this uh, bg task scheduler dot shared dot registered and i am registering our task but i am registering uh, our task only if there is any proper task and i'm calling this handle task so here you can see i'm just uh, like this is my uh, user defaults code like saving data to my user default how many time it has run but this can be anything like making an api request depends on you uh, if you want you can add an expiration handler as well i have set it as blank and here i am doing set task complete success to true okay now if you go to your view controller uh, here you will have to add this bit of code so again we have to give our task id then here we are calling our schedule method and once the schedule method is called firstly i am checking if there are any pending tasks so what could happen is that suppose the user opened your app he closed he closed the app completely then he opened the app again uh, after five minutes and suppose the first uh, background task which we had scheduled didn't run then we would have to schedule background task which would wouldn't make sense so here what i am doing is that if there is if there are no background tasks then only go to this else we are just returning we are not implementing anything and here you can see i'm using bg processing task request so why when to use bg processing task request if you see uh, the documentation a request to launch your app in the background to execute a processing task that can takes minutes to complete so if it is a long running background operation it's better to use bg processing task request instead of bg app refresh task request and here you just have to pass your task id and earliest begin begin time i have set it to one day so this is like 86 400 seconds equal to one day if you say set, set it as one second uh, don't assume that it will run after one second uh, like there is some default time i think it's better to keep it as one day uh, the maximum time you give the better uh, yeah and here we, we are just submitting our new task that's it now how to check it so to check suppose if you are on development uh, you don't have to wait for one day if you are develop in, in the debug mode or if you are trying to develop your app so you what you can do is you can just run your app add a breakpoint over here after this uh, bg share once the task is submitted add a breakpoint over here once your breakpoint is hit uh, 
uh, you just have to run this command so here you can see but instead of this task identifier you will have to enter your own task id so this is the task id right so enter your own task id and uh, once uh, that is implemented you can run your application again and try to get this uh, app delegate over here so it will uh, inside once your app is once you run your app again uh, you should see this task run count times to be increased by one uh, okay so yeah that's it uh, now uh, just to if you want you can refer this documentation as well on how to uh, uh, you know execute task immediately uh, while debugging purpose so that we don't have to wait for one day the next thing is uh, bg app refresh task request so it is similar so i'll just on comment this comment this out okay and here you can see uh, it is a request to launch your app to execute a short refresh task so if it is extremely small you can use bg app refresh task request but i will probably use processing task request because that feels more safer to me and also i think uh, uh, you will have to change over here bg app refresh task and i think over here as well bg processing task bg app refresh task oh sorry bg app refresh task yeah i think uh, that should be it uh, yeah thank you for watching bye quick thing now to run this uh, command uh, all you have to do is once your uh, debug uh, point is hit you just have to go to lldb copy paste this particular command and instead of task identifier uh, whatever is your identifier like com dot coding with nobody dot background task so just paste it over here and uh, you can click on uh, and you you can just click enter and that should execute your task but given that i am on simulator nothing will really happen so yeah that's it again don't try to run this task on simulator uh, it will never work yeah that's it thank you for watching bye